Let's get swinging, fellas. This is called Honey O. All the walls in this house used to be solid. I could push as hard as I like and nothing would budge. I could charge like a bull and no planets nowhere would even move an inch or get their hair rustled. But now the walls are flypaper. Things stick and they stay there. I walk through our rooms where once we left nothing behind and now I see everything that has happened here all the time. Everything. All the time. I wish Johnny Cash was here. He'd know what to do. I wish him always in the seat behind me, pouring advice into my ear like black honey and sending menacing grimaces over my shoulder to those who mean to do me harm. I try to conjure him in spirit using cowboy voodoo, but all I get is Garth Brooks. I reach for my holster to end him, but it's empty. My gun must be sticking to a wall somewhere next to that letter you wrote. You told me you keep the really big secrets in your socks. I should have known our planets were falling from the sky when I found myself loitering near the laundry basket for no good reason. There's one of your socks now, stuck to the wall. But there's no secrets there. It's empty, like my holster. And what happens to a secret when it's not a secret anymore? Once we spent a whole night in your wardrobe looking for lions, you held up a shadow and said, does this count? I said, no, baby. Socks don't count. You shook it and an ATM receipt fell out. And then we time tunneled right back there to the beginning when I found you. I was loitering near automatic tellers trying to find somebody as poor as I was. Remember that street light stretching across your arm? Remember when you said, look baby, look at my arm. And it was a light from outside my window, cutting through the Venetian blinds. You pushed yourself forward, naked in bed. And the line of light ran like an Abbey Road zebra crossing from your shoulders to your fingertips. Now here I am, sitting on the bed, waiting for the light outside to come on, waiting for Johnny Cash to tell me what to do. And I find myself thinking, the light that touched your arm, the same light that will touch my hand when it comes on as I write this letter, did it stay? Does anything stay? Do something for me, baby, just one thing. Look at your arm. Go somewhere dark if you have to. Go crouch among the lines in your closet if you have to. And tell me, Tell me, tell me, does light stay? Because I really need to know. Thank you.